Engine start. We have a go for main engine start. Main engine start. Two, one. My name is Jose M. Hernandez. I'm a former NASA astronaut. Right now, I have my own engineering consulting firm. I'm a farmer and I also release my own brand of wines. My parents came to the U.S. as uh, Mexican migrant workers. When they got married, they started coming and staying nine months in California, three months in Mexico. I was actually born here in the, uh, in the U.S., but still lived as a migrant farm worker. So it wasn't a very conducive environment to get a good education. 32 seconds into the flight. The way I got interested in engineering was, uh, well, twofold. First, because I struggled in the English language. English was a second language. My refuge in class was math because math is a universal language. What also happened was when I was 10 years old, I was fortunate enough to watch the very last Apollo mission, Apollo 17, on our old black and white TV. I was mesmerized. And, uh, and that's how the dream was conceived for me to uh, become an astronaut. American challenge of today has forged man's destiny of tomorrow. How many times do you think NASA rejected me? And it's not once, it's not twice, it's not three or four times. 11 times. I was rejected by NASA 11 times. It wasn't until the 12th attempt that I got invited to be part of the 19th class of astronauts. My mission STS-128 aboard Space Shuttle Discovery. It was a 14-day mission to the International Space Station. The blast off is what I remember the most. It only lasts eight and a half minutes to get up into space. Happy Jose. Oh, all right. <laughs> uh, during those eight and a half minutes, the pressure builds on your chest, so it's very hard to breathe. So after eight and a half minutes, and then the acceleration stops, so that 600-pound gorilla disappears and now you're traveling in orbit around the world once every 90 minutes at 17,500 miles an hour. Roger, discovery. We do not have enough people interested in sciences. We have to reach out to the uh, Latinos, to the African American. We have to reach out to everybody and engage them. I'm very proud to be uh, recognized by my community uh, let's be clear, I don't do it for the recognition. Uh, I do it to make sure uh, kids see someone that looks like them, speaks like them, came from the same socioeconomic background that perhaps they're going through, and uh, it gives them hope. Welcome home, Discovery. Congratulations on an extremely successful mission. 